Well, hello. Uh, how you doing? I hope you're okay. Um, so we're going to carry on. We've done some pretty patterns repeating before. Hopefully you made some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so we are going to do something now. Are we going to look at how we can pass values into a function? Um, and this will give us a lot of uh, control over how our functions work. So what on earth am I talking about? Let's have a look. And so we've got our function circle does all of this. We've got our loop here, and it's going to repeat uh, making this circle uh, 10 times. OK, so at the moment we have um, 50, and we have some values inside the parameters of these, like circle, that's radius 50, and it's going to move at an angle 30 and forward 5. And So what we can do is something a bit clever here, is when we make uh, this function, we can ask it, whenever we're going to call it, that it will need a value from us that will go inside these uh, parentheses. So uh, at the moment, I'm going to put a letter. Uh, let's do the letter X, OK? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace circle 50 there. I'm going to put an X in there. And let's just do that with the, um, this is the angle. I'm going to make that X, OK? Now, let me explain what on earth am I going on about. Uh, where's my video gone? Oh, there I am. Um, I just need to change that. It should be floating on top. Um, so, so, although you probably don't like me anyway, so uh, anyway, you might prefer it without me. But now you've got me anyway. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we've got x. Um, we're going to pass a value into this function, all right? And then wherever we see x in our little mini program, so here and here, it will take whatever value we give it here. It will going to put that value in here and put that value in here. So here I am calling the function circle, all right? And I have to now put a value in here. It expects it because that's how I said it was going to be made. So I need to put a value in here, and I'm going to put in, I don't know, let's put in 40. So what's that going to do? So what it'll do is x becomes the value of 40. And so wherever x is mentioned in this subprogram here and here, that means the value of 40 will be put in here. So the radius will be 40, and it will go left at an angle of 40. And let's see what that does. So it's going around and around and around. And yes, that's a radius of 40 and an angle of 40 each time. Here we go. Pretty cool. So that's how you pass in values into a function. And then you can use those values within your little subprogram like this here. Good, eh?